Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tasta Cakes. It's Jen and I'm gonna show you today how to make SpongeBob's Pineapple House out of gum paste. And if you see me using any tools or supplies you can use, check the link in the description below which will be able to help you out. Now I am starting with some gum paste. I'm using orange gum paste and I'm using orange gum paste because I want it to dry and hold its shape. This was going to be going on top of a cake, so it has to be nice and firm. Now I'm cutting my piece of orange gum paste here flat at the bottom and kind of nice and tall and curved over at the top for the beginnings of my pineapple. Now I'm taking the back side of my knife and I'm just putting indentations at an angle, just kind of cross hatching across the pineapple back and forth. Um, if you look at SpongeBob's pineapple house, you'll see that it has this hatch, uh, hat, hat, cross hatching, excuse me. And I kind of made them a little tight. They probably should have been a little looser, but there you go. You still got the effect going there. Now this is some green gum, gum paste here that I'm using. And I'm just freehand cutting out a bunch of spiky leaves. I believe I cut out five of them. I have one big one in the center and then two smaller ones to either side there, as you can see. I put it on top of my pineapple to wherever I wanted it to be and then cut off the pineapple part. It's stuck to my knife, so it seems like it just magically disappeared, but it didn't. And I'm going to use water to attach it to the top there. I put a little bit of indentations in the green just to separate the leaves out. And now I am moving on to the um, parts of the house itself, the windows and doors here. So I made two little windows out of some gray gum paste. I just had two circle cutters. And I wanted to just have an idea of how it would, you know, how it's going to sit and everything. And then I'm going to take that same gray and cut out the little, I guess it's a exhaust vent, chimney pipe. I don't know what it is. A little pipe sticking out the side of SpongeBob's house. So you kind of make a wonky letter L out of it and then cut a square. Put it over your L and cut out that corner so now you have an extra piece that just overlaps where the L bend is. I guess the idea is it's, you know, metal supporting the bend in the pipe. And so, yeah, once you have it on there, stick it on your pineapple with a little bit of water. La-di-da, there you go. All right, I'm using an orange food coloring marker here to trace the indentations that I made. I should have done this before I added the pipe on there because I was so careful to not put the windows that I cut out on yet I'm like no no I have to wait because I'm going to put these lines on with my marker and then I got sidetracked and saw something shiny and forgot about it and made the pipe but anyway I added a few lines as you see all over the pineapple just here and there don't fill it all in but there are a bunch this is going to be the front door to Spongebob's house same shape as your pineapple flat at the bottom straight up the sides rounded at the top although the pineapple flares out a little bit it's not straight on the sides I'm making indentation, just tracing the whole darn thing, and then making an even smaller one inside of it because he's got kind of layers to his door. His door has layers, like an ogre or an onion. It has layers. So I put the layers in, carve it out, trim off the sides, as you see a little bit, because it was sticking out too far. I put a ball of little gray gum paste in the center there to make the handle on his door. I'm rolling out some like kind of like almost tic-tac shape sort of to attach to the door handle and there are six of them so just be aware of it if you decide to do this part. I put a little pressure mark in the center with my straw there and then uh, of the door handle and then all around the door frame itself to look like the bolts I guess of the door. Yeah there you go. When you're happy with it stick it on your pineapple. Now he's got two windows that show from the front there. One is off to the side of the door, a little bit low. The other one is up higher and to the to the left side of the door. But it's not real far high up. It's not like you'd assume a first floor and second floor. It just kind of sits in the middle. So, yeah, be aware of where you place that. Okay, I filled it in with a little bit of very light blue balls of gum paste in the center there of my windows. And I am using now a green food coloring marker to trace around the edges of my leaves. And you're going to see in a second, I'm going to go over it with a wet paintbrush. I took a paintbrush, just got water on it. And now I'm painting over the food coloring that I just put on there. And that's going to blend it and kind of um, just to make it a little more gentle, more shading kind of rather than the harsh lines. Because I got to be honest, my green leaves were not the smoothest, cleanest cuts I've ever made in the world. So when I put the food coloring marker on there, the green, it was kind of raggedy looking. So I'm blending it. Blending is good. Going back to my windows, I add a couple little blue highlights with my marker. My pineapple, I'm going over with a light brown marker because it just didn't look good with the orange. 
let it dry, and there you go. You got SpongeBob's pineapple under the sea. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe because it really does help me out. Check out my other videos. I got a bunch out there as well as a lot more SpongeBob coming. And as always, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.